Hi guys, um, I thought I'd take a break from my current project, uh, take a little diversion, see if I could make myself a little electric car um, using one of these vibrating toothbrushes as the power source. Um, I'm not going to open that one because I've already got one I opened the other day for another little project, same thing. The handy thing about these is they've got little switch on the end and they start vibrating but I'm not going to use it in its vibrating mode. I'm going to see if I can cut the top off and get to the um, motor. I can actually take it apart and get to the motor but I want to use the packaging as it is to actually hold the motor because that's a convenient way of holding the battery in place as well. So the first thing I've got to do is see if I can get that little vibrating weight off the end of there, which I can probably do if I tap on the end of the um, on the end of there with something I should be able to knock it through. So I'll try that. Right, what I'm going to try and do is tap that directly on the end of there and see if I can push it through. Not quite sure if it will hold still long enough for me to do that because it's all a bit balanced. But we'll see what we can do. That worked. But you can see I've had the it's had the right effect. That's gone in nicely. In fact, if I'd have used a smaller nail, that might have tapped it straight through. I'll have a little look, see if I can find a smaller nail. Right, found another nail, a thinner one. So I should be able to tap it straight through this time. There we go. If I'd have found that nail to begin with, I could have done that in one go. Right, so there's our motor. What I'm now going to try and do is establish how far in that goes. And see if I can just chop the very end off. So that the shaft actually points out. And I can use that to connect to the back wheels, eventually. Right. Now I need my saw. Right, got my saw. Looking down the inside there, I can see there's ridges on the inside that hold the end of the motor in place. So that gives me an idea of whereabouts I can actually cut the end off. Where's my small screwdriver? Little ridges sticking up that hold the end of the motor in place. I just drop it down in there again. Right, so that's our motor mounted. I'll just clean that up a bit and then we'll carry on. I've tidied up a little bit, let's put the bits back together. motor running. Switch it off. Now we need to make the car. Piece of cardboard that I shall mount that on. Cut 
couple of bits of garden cane, a straw, and some bottle tops. Mobile phones doing in there, and some rubber bands. And we'll need the hot glue gun in a minute. But first thing we'll do, we'll decide. Yes, we've got long enough. What I intend to do is stick the wheels on the axle there, use another bottle top on the inside to be the gear or pulley that I can put a rubber band around. If I can, oh, they're all joined together. I'll separate them out in a minute. So I'll have a rubber band going around there, rubber band going around there, and hopefully that should drive the wheel forwards. So I need the hot glue gun. Right, I'm going to use this drinking straw to um, be the axle tube. So I should glue that on the back. In fact I'll cut it in half first so some's on the back and a bit on the front. straight on the back, short bit on the front, there's the hot glue gun coming, oh, that's ready. Straightest. Neither of them are very straight. Okay. Next, need to poke some holes in there. That one's easy enough. He's actually got a mark in the middle, so I can see where the middle is. These ones don't. A shame. That one does. got it very well, very accurate anyway, but uh, I'll stick some hot glue in there to hold them together anyway.
don't want that gap inside, otherwise the rubber band's going to get caught in there. So I might just run a little bit more hot glue around the edge. should stop it slipping down inside. Right, looks to me like I need to bring that in just a little bit because the rubber bands Rubber band's got to come off there and go around there. Let's do it a bit at a time. Gonna be just about right. Okay. Stick a bit more hot glue in there just to strengthen it. Probably doesn't need it, but uh, I'll do it anyway. We don't pull it up too tight so there's still a bit of play so it doesn't jam. Stick a bit of hot glue in there. Same again. Probably don't need to hot glue the front ones because they haven't got any power going through them. Work either. I could trim the bodywork. Just rely on it being loose anyway. Right, rubber band. Oh, there's a free one anyway. Put on there. Ah. We need to put a little dollop of hot glue on the end of there to stop the rubber band sliding off. So. Right guys, the observant ones amongst you will notice that we've changed locations. That's because the batteries had actually run out in my camera. I thought I was still videoing and it stopped videoing, stopped recording. So I've actually gone on 
quite a bit further than the last stage. Um, before I glued the motor in place I made sure which way round it was actually spinning. Because if you actually put it on the wrong way round the car goes backwards instead of forwards. The next thing I did was I made sure the distance that I glued it in place was enough for this rubber band to reach without being too tight and without being too loose. If it's too loose it will just spin round with, a, with no grip and if it's too tight eventually it will damage the shaft on the motor and cause it to struggle. And It will also put too much strain on the motor and it probably won't run at all. So, but there we are, it's in position. If I switch that on, there you go. A working electric car. I'll just see if we can put it on the floor somewhere so we can actually see it go. Okay, here we go. Just put the camera down. Switch it on. And there we go. A very simple electric car. Time for a quick summary. I'll switch that off. Piece of cardboard, drinking tube or drinking straw, a couple of bits of garden cane, that's the axles, one, two, three, four milk bottle tops, Another bottle top that's slightly smaller, so it fits inside. Vibrating electric toothbrush that I've cut the end off. Taken the little weight off it so it doesn't vibrate anymore. A little bit of hot glue onto the end of the shaft to stop the rubber band falling off. And that's it. A very simple electric car. That was fun.